This is our daily bread. Good afternoon, my friends, lovers of Jesus Christ, followers of God. Collectively, I call you guys believers. Good afternoon. God bless you. Brother Art here from ODB, from Regal Ministries, here to provide to you. I pray it will be some sort of inspiration, uh, some kind of encouragement. It's all from and empowered by God's word. Let's pray together. Good afternoon once again, Father God, we thank you. Every day we come together, the very first thing I ought to do is thank you because of where you have led me from, where have you, where you've placed me now, and where in my heart I believe you're leading me to. What's precious about my testimony is I know that I am, though special, I'm not significant, that my friends also have the same opportunity. And it's very simple. Just turn to you, God. All we have to do is turn to you. May hearts be opened and strength given to the body, the mind, the spirit, and the soul, where all we need to do is accept that you died on the cross and believe that as a fact in our heart. And not only will we be saved once this life ends, but our life on this earth will be a reflection of the love that you had for us 2,000 years ago into the moment I'm speaking right now. Bless your name, Lord, forever and always. Amen. I often want to jump right in into scripture. So let's look at a scripture today for our daily bread it comes from the book of Proverbs. Solomon delivered this good word to us. The 11th chapter, the third verse. And Solomon tells us that the integrity of the upright guides them. But the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. The integrity of the upright guides them. But the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Let's start with the integrity of the upright. I tend to want to split scriptures verses into two, especially when you see the word but there. Um, it, it could be a comma, but in to, just in my mind, in terms of uh, gaining comprehension, I separate it. So the integrity of the upright guides them. Let's start with the word integrity. Just from the English standpoint, integrity means the ability to do what is right, to follow a higher standard, to do the right thing. Though one believes, no one is witnessing and no one is watching. Let's shift to a biblical context. To honor God's will, which speaking of integrity, to honor the will of God, assuming no one is witnessing, assuming no one is watching, but understanding that God is to honor the will of God, to obey God's will, to obey his commands, looking to your left and to your right and knowing no one is watching and understanding you could get away with it in your mind, but you understand that a heavenly father is always with you and he's always watching you. The rest of the scripture says the integrity of the upright guides them. So you are constantly being guided because you have a connection with God because you have integrity. And what this integrity brings to myself and to you is a demonstration of trust. Not only are you reflecting that you trust God by doing the right thing when the world's not watching but it also shows that God can trust you. Let's continue after the but. The crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. The crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. The crookedness, not the fall in line, not the follow the standard, to go off on your own, to please yourself. You know, the root word in crookedness is crook. And what crooks do is steal. They take something that does not belong to them. But for the most part, they're making sure that before they seize what they're aiming to take, that no one is watching. A lot of the time, those who are crooked 
They aim to operate in the dark. Crooked people. People who are looking to take and to do things that don't belong to them and to do things that they should not be doing. Who are these people who do this? The treacherous. Treacherous simply means those who cannot be trusted. The end result of their activity, of their behavior is destruction. Case point, Genesis 3, Adam and Eve, we know the story. God left them in the garden. God provided for them everything that they needed. He gave them one thing, one rule, one mandate. Do not do this. Do not touch this tree. This tree is forbidden. God departs for a moment. Along comes Satan. Satan puts something in Eve's mind. You can. You can. You're able. And he convinces Eve to do so. However, we both know, you and I both know that Eve knew that that was something she should not have done because in her dialogue with Satan, she actually replied saying, God said not to. Knowing that she had to look to her left and she had to look to her right before she partook in the very thing that God said, I forbid you to do. She looked to see if God was watching before she did what she already knew was wrong. The end of the story, you know, God returned, saw what they did because then they were out of place. They were out of line. They were not where they should have been. They were, I guess you can kind of say they were crooked. And then at that point, God refused to recognize them anymore. Simpler terms, they were destroyed. My question to you is if God took a look at the last 24 hours of your life, 48 hours, 72 hours, the last week in your life, though you're not perfect, was your intention to live with integrity or was your intention to be treacherous? Let me simplify it. Was your goal to live within God's will or was your goal to live within your will? Was your will to please God or was your will to please yourself? I close. Can God trust you? Can God trust you? When no one else is watching. Do you believe that God's still watching and does it matter to you? Does it matter to you that God is watching? If you fall in short, here is the simple solution. Repent. Repent. Don't just tell God, I'm sorry. You're crooked. Step out of your crookedness and fall back into integrity. Live your life obedient to God, inside of God's will. Be considered upright so that all of your desires are actually God's desires. And through that, you can reach the destiny that you're meant to reach. Our daily bread. We have Monday through Friday, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Subscribe, like, do all those good things. Stay in contact with us as we aim to stay in contact with you. I close. Live in integrity. Live in integrity. Because when you're living in integrity, you're living in a place where God dwells. I love you guys. See you tomorrow.